one, I have to film a separate introduction because the beginning of the footage that I shot with Erin mysteriously disappeared. But today's video is a grown-ass woman tag, a GAW tag, and Erin came up with all the questions. We decided to ask questions that would be more interesting for women of a certain age. So instead of naming names and saying you're tagged and you're tagged and you're tagged, let's just assume you're all tagged. So anybody who makes videos, watches videos, thinks about videos, go ahead, either film a video yourself or answer some of the questions in the comments. If there's a YouTuber you watch that you think would enjoy doing this, let them know about this tag. I'll put all the questions in the description box. We cut off about 20 minutes of footage that were really good and I wish I could get them back, but I can't. I will say it again at the end of the video, but if you do not know Erin, you are missing out. Her YouTube channel is Busby Style. I think it's Busby Style or Busby Style TV. That will be linked below as well. Erin and I met through YouTube and social media and she's become one of my best, closest and dearest friends. It is a joy to work with her and I am thrilled to share her with you on my channel. If you know her already, you know her is to know her is to love her. If you don't, I'm excited to introduce you to her. So watch the rest of the footage and enjoy some of the bloopers as well. I'm not sure where the battery cut us off, but in a nutshell, I would tell my 20 year old self, work out more, eat less, eat more healthily, and use more sunscreen. I would and don't pick at your zits. I, I don't pick at your zits. <laughs> I would tell my 20 year old self to calm the F down. Like, just calm down. Everything's gonna be fine. And um, enjoy this body. That's what I would say. Like, yeah. enjoy it. Relish it work it, you know? <laughs> I feel like I was just so modest and um, buttoned up all the time. Like I wish I had, and not that I'm not- you're so wild now. Not that I wish I had dressed like a hooker, but I'm just saying like, I wish I had enjoyed- The more that, daring things you could have. That body a little bit more because I, now I just, you know, you're the you're a mom and you're in your forties and you just can't get away with that stuff Although anymore. You, you could. Not, and not be, I mean, that's not, that's like, you can't no, wear hot it's pants not anymore. okay when you're a mom and you're no. 40 years old to wear hot pants. Maybe just around the house. <laughs> Maybe around the house. That's right. The kids are at school. <laughs> but anyway, that's what I would say to my 20 year old self. Like, calm down. Everything's going to be fine. You're going to be good. fine. It's all good. Everything's going to work out the way it's supposed to. Don't worry. Don't stress. And by the way, enjoy your enjoy 20 year old it. skin and bod. Because it's not going to last. Yeah. Because it won't last. What's your next yeah. question? All right, so favorite 80s and 90s. Because I feel like 80s was really junior high, high school, and 90s was college. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you go first. I already know what my 80s band is. I have to think about 90s for a while. I would say 90s. I really loved Dave Matthews Band and the Cranberries. Oh, my God. I don't even know if and the 90s. And 80s bands. Oh, my gosh. I love Journey. Was that set, Would that be 70s or 80s? Uh, I think it's 80s. You and Michael need to hang out more. I love Journey. I love Journey. Like, that was in my, when I ran the New York City Marathon, like, Journey Separate Ways is, like, my, it's just, like, this epic, like, you're running up the hill song, like, okay. motivating. Anyway, I love Journey. So And I love Ario Speedwagon. Um... I loved Michael Jackson. Oh, I know. Back in the day. I loved Madonna back in the day. Was that 80s or not? No, that was 80s. She was 80s, yeah. Okay, number one 80s band for me, without question, Duran Duran. Oh my God. Oh. I was supposed to marry John Taylor. You. <laughs> How many of us were supposed to marry John There's Taylor? There's like, I have met along the way women who, I, I'm not kidding, love Duran Duran. I not don't, now. I don't, I appreciate it, but I didn't have that same got old. love. I did not get old. But, but I, really I used old. to work with a woman that like went to London to go see them in concert and she ended wow. up meeting them. And did she touch one? I, th I think she like hung out with a couple and she was just so, it was like the dream of her lifetime. Oh so God. that's kind of where yeah. you are. Right? I had the posters. I had the buttons. <laughs> I... Who doesn't like the reflex? I mean, come on. I mean, it's um, a good, it's a good song. Nine, and then, you know, all the pop stuff, Madonna, um... Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Did you like Prince? Oh yes, that was yeah. the first cassette I ever bought. Was Purple Rain. My first Without album my was Purple permission? Rain. Without my mother's because remember it was Darling very, Nikki? No, it was Woo. very racy. I remember him talking about talking about masturbating. Yeah, that was Darling Nikki. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, pretty racy for a four, 13 year old. Thirteen. Mm -hmm. My yeah, mom we didn't know. Listen, what about yeah. TV, like your favorite TV shows? All right, this is terrible to admit go, now that what's going on in the news, but the Cosby Show and Who's the Boss? 
I liked Cosby Show too. I used to watch One Day at a Time. Is that was that seventies or eighties? Uh, right on the I, just early. Like, and then um, uh, I don't know when I was really little. I loved Scooby Doo. <laughs> oh yeah, totally. Oh, and you know what else? Um, I would watch religiously with my dad all the way until I moved out of the house. Was Mash. Oh, I mean, I know watched, that was way back, but it was on was, every night. On yeah, Fox. it was always on uh, repeat. Yeah. yeah. I watched a few of those, but I wasn't, I, I couldn't MASH. get into MASH. Love MASH. Who didn't love MASH? And oh, and then I watched all the time, which talk about racy, was Three's Company. Oh, I love Three's Company. But I mean, that, and they were like sexual innuendo after sexual innuendo. But I didn't, we didn't whole, get it. No, no, you're right. We, we totally, didn't get it. But, oh, you know what? I never watched it as an adult. I'll have to go back and yeah. see I can you, see. You watch it and you're like, how did my mom let me watch that? You know what else I love, but not not when it was live. Um, was I watching it? I think I was watching it on reruns is um, Designing Women. Designing Women. I never oh, watched that. I wanted to be Julia Sugarbaker. Well, you kind of are Julia Sugarbaker now. Wow. You got you like your southern lifestyle. and She's just a whole different level. <laughs> yeah, she is another amazing. level. Dixie Carter was amazing. I feel like a shade of... Of That's her. a huge compliment. Thank you. Um, okay. Favorite Atari game? Did you play we Atari? Like, oh, yeah. We were one of the first on the block. Tank. Remember Tank? Eh, eh, oh, eh, yeah, yeah. We, um, we were the Pong. one the first, too. Pong was Pong. my favorite. Um, God. I'm, like, drawing a blank. Well, there weren't that many. There was Pac-Man. Pac-Man. I would say Pac-Man. Yeah. yeah or for Ms. sure. Pac-Man. And the, the Pong was the one with, the with like, the, the bar across the yeah. bottom where the ball went boom. Bing, <laughs> so bing, mindless. bing. Yeah, yeah, I would play that a lot, and then I loved Pac-Man. And then I used to go up to the grocery store on the corner, and I would play Miss Pac-Man for hours at the uh, at the video game. Okay, do you rely on Spanx? How often do you wear Spanx? Do I rely on Spanx? Yes. Anytime I'm, um, not every day, not in my normal clothes. Right. But like today, I should be wearing Spanx. But whenever I'm in a dress. Well, no, you don't need Spanx when you're wearing a full skirt. Well, there's this. It really hides, you know, hides everything. Yeah, but generally, almost every time I'm in a dress. Yeah, I would say every time I wear a fitted dress, I'm either in a Spanx or, you know, really fitted slip. Um, just to keep everything looking smooth and sort of lump free. But I don't, we can't walk around in Spanx all the time here. It's too, too hot. You die. Yeah, it's way too hot. Oh, you could lose some weight doing that. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, thoughts on Botox. I'm all for it. Me too. Me too. See, I'm raising my eyebrows in surprise. No, well, okay. um, Marnie and I go to the same person, and both I can of us. My eyebrows are they moving? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So, both of us had the similar a similar thought about Botox before we got found this guy, um, and it was I didn't like it, and no. you didn't like it no. because it looked too weird. And you could tell it was so noticeable and it just looked, you just looked weird. But this guy is much more subtle. He's a, he's a real doctor and knows what he's doing. And so he administers it in a way where you still look like you, but your eyes just kind of perk up a little bit more. It's just magic trick where my eyes get more open, but I don't look like I'm. Yeah. You don't look like a freak. I mean, I, I hope we don't look like freaks, but you'll let us know. I see one of the questions is, um, yeah, you know, if you've gone overboard, cause you all will tell us, no, if you could only have one beauty product, what would it be? Foundation. Okay. Interesting. I thought about that. Um, if you don't have a decent base to work with, right. You're just complete. Like I say you, not you. I really mean me. If I don't have a, uh, if I am, I feel less confident about myself when my skin tone is uneven, when my zits are on display. Um, so even if I didn't use foundation over my whole face, if I just used it um, like almost as a concealer, right? I think you know, I, I think that's enough. Mm -hmm. um, I don't care if you have perfect eyelashes or a nice lip gloss if your face just. I feel more self-conscious. So I know for me personally. Self-confidence wise, if my skin is good, then the rest is just. Yeah. And I would do something similar. I would just say tinted moisturizer because I would want something that was like hydrating. Yeah. Cause I, I pick foundation cause I could always mix it with found moisturizer. Well, yeah, That's another beauty product. Yeah, I'm saying if you could product. only have one beauty product, what would it be? Foundation. Okay. And then what if, but what if it was a skincare product? Only one skincare product. Moisturizer for sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cause I'm like, and I'm, I'm in the same zone as you. So biggest body changes you've noticed since turning 40. Um, my tushy and my thigh are no longer two distinct parts of my body. Yeah. What happens <laughs> it's there? It's like a big old ham hock. 
Like I feel like my butt was always lifted and like then all of a sudden now. it started to sag. Like gravity. That's gravity. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I mean, that's what it is. Cause I was thinking it's just because I, because for me, forties also coincided with motherhood. Right. So I don't know whether to attribute no. things to motherhood and no, having babies it. or age. It's age. Sorry. Cause I had babies yeah. a long time ago and now my, yeah, it's just, Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. I mean, it makes sense. So finish this sentence. I wish I was more. Oh my gosh. I came up with a question. You would think I would have a prepared answer. Yeah. Come on, Eric. You start. You start because I right, don't know. I actually have an answer for this. Okay. Because I, I feel like, I don't know if anyone else does this, but I feel like New Year's resolutions can be made on a monthly basis. Like the first of every month is an opportunity to try again. Right. Every day. And the first an opportunity. It is. And the first, th the thing I always say I wish I was more is I wish I was more patient. Patient. Yes. I would put that. Like I, I have um, a neighbor who I admire and love and treasure and um, she is the most patient person and she's so lovely to everybody. And I think I need to, I need to do more of that. I can't do it. I don't think it's in my nature. I really think you would have a hard time with that. <laughs> I say that with I peace and love, it. but I, just, I know what I am and patient is just, but that's what for me, that's why part of why I love you so much is because you are just like, tell it like it is. And I think I'm more like, tell it like it is too. Yes. But and so, but we, diplomatic we can it. appreciate when somebody else is a little more, you know, patient and lovely and admire that. And maybe we want some of that. But truly, I don't think it's part of our it's not, no. natural no. being. So we're pretty Type A people. Yeah, I, people I just like I'm like let's go, let's go, let's do it <laughs> all the time. Yeah, it just it's not. But I admire it very much. In other people. I do. I really think it's a fabulous quality. And then what's there's just one more. Bag, shoes, or something else. I'm a jacket girl all the way. Jackets, um, blazers, love them. It's a problem. I don't know. Obviously, I have a sick addiction to Louis Vuitton. Um, You're a bad girl. And Gigi New York. And or I don't know. You like shoes a lot too. I like shoes a lot too. There's no win clear winner between uh, shoes and bags. The thing I like about bags and shoes is I can. It doesn't matter how much I weigh. It yeah. It doesn't matter your size. Uh -uh. You're always, always the fits. same shoe size. For the most part. I think you could overdo it with the shoes. Yeah, you can. Like, I mean, I've pregnancy. gained weight in my, some of my really tight boots. Don't fit anymore? Well, well just because your calf snug. gets a little bit bigger? It's not because of muscles. <laughs> yeah. No, you no, can tell yourself think, that. I think bags. If I had to pick between shoes, a great bag. You know what? I remember my mother always said, I, I'm going to paraphrase, but there was a great quote. She said, if, you, if people are looking at your shoes, if they're noticing your shoes, it's not necessarily a good thing because that means they're not looking at your face. Oh, that's an interesting point. I didn't think about that. Because you want them to look here. Or they have some weird shoe fetish. There is that. <laughs> and those people live here on YouTube, don't they? But yeah, I mean, like her point was, don't worry so much, you know, be an yeah. interest, not because you have a pretty face, but be an interesting person so they want to look you in the eye. Don't worry so right. much about what's going on from here down. Worry right. about what's going on up here. And, and Oh, maybe that had an effect on why you're so um, now so passionately interested in beauty. No. Like makeup and stuff? No, she didn't mean so much about your facial appearance as be a person that people want to look at. And I think... Yeah, be the substance behind. The substance. I don't think yeah. she meant physical beauty. I okay, think, I just wondered I if that had had something to do with no, you no, heading to that direction. Not even no, a little bit. Okay, no, no. all right. Mm -hmm. No, theory. it's more about be <laughs> someone that people want to engage with and look in the eye and have yeah. a conversation with. Not someone who you're so boring or so dull or so irritating that they're yeah. just looking... Well, you got to bring something to the table. Yes. you got to have a little so, something. So, I'm going to go back. That was a long answer. Yeah, like, I don't know how we went off on that tangent, but... Because I also like to have all my stuff with me, like a security blanket. Yeah. So. Yeah, you like to carry a lot of makeup. And and scissors and band-aids. Scissors? And I always have scissors. Hmm. Nail files, blotting papers, pens of various colors, ballpoint and felt tip. Yeah, anyway. Bags. Bags what it is. So bag shoes... Or you said jackets. I, I, I have, and which is ridiculous because we live in a very hot climate. <laughs> but once upon a time, I you know, was in the Northeast, so I had a reason for that addiction. 
Um, but now I just load up on blazers and moto jackets. I now have four moto jackets, all leather, nice different colors, wow. yeah, and so nice. many blazers it fills up a whole rack in my closet. And then I have all different wool coats, all different lengths, all different colors. I've got two different shades of three different shades of pink. I've got a, you know, the camel color, the brat tart chocolate brown, the black. Oh my. It's ridiculous. I didn't realize it was that. Yeah. Yeah, it's extensive. It's a problem. So, <laughs> good luck editing this one. Well, thank Sorry. You. <laughs> I had fun. I hope that you enjoyed this. We had a little maybe too much fun, but mm -hmm. um As thank per. you for hanging out with us for the last hour <laughs> or however long this ends up being. And um, if we haven't answered every question you have about us, Go ahead and leave them below and give us something to talk about for the next video. Or maybe there's a grown-up tag number two, part two. Yeah. And speaking of tagging, if you're watching this, we tag you. Whether you make YouTube videos, <laughs> I'm doing this. Whether you make YouTube videos or not, pew, pew. you're tagged. So <laughs> go ahead and feel free to answer either in comments below some of these questions or make a video and let us know that you did and you know tweet me or email it, <laughs> email it to me and I want to see your responses. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to go check out Erin's video on her channel, which I will link like around here and down there and and all about what we're wearing on our bottom halves, right? Yeah, we're, well, we're gonna show our whole outfit yeah, on. Yeah, the whole body. Uh, yeah. So with that, we say goodbye. Did you hear my stomach growl? Yes, I did hear your stomach Yeah, growl. I'm hungry. Bye. <laughs>